Hi, Larry, WD0AKX. Picked up a handy device here a while back on eBay. It's a YB562. It's a frequency counter, but not only that, what I got it for, it's a tone decoder, CTCSS and DCS tone decoder. So if you take a radio nearby and key the mic and it's transmitting a tone, this should decode it. It's got a little built-in whip for an antenna here. And the transmitter does have to be fairly close, but thinking back years ago of uh, servicing radio equipment, we used to always have to drag a big service monitor, a very, very expensive piece of equipment out into the field if we wanted to uh, measure the tone on a radio or something, if we couldn't bring the radio to the shop. If you wanted to program some new radios for a customer and you had to find out what tones they were using in that, this would have been very handy. Let's take a look at it. Well, this is what I purchased off of eBay for $29.99. And if you search the title up there, there's other similar units, uh, several of them out there, all in the same price category, and somewhat different housings than that. This is the one I picked. And uh, it will measure your transmit frequency and your CTCSS or DCS digital uh, tone that you have uh, on your transmitter. Here's some of the specs. I'm not associated with this company or any of these companies in any way. I just thought it was kind of a neat item. So let's take a look at it here and extend the uh, little whip antenna. Looks like it's built fairly well. Kind of a, an aluminum or metal type housing. So it seems like it's built rugged enough. Press and hold the button on the side to power it up. And I'll transmit here on the 14673 repeater. So I'm transmitting on 14673 or 13. It shows that with the 100 hertz tone on the display. So it's decoding correctly. And here's a GMRS radio. What I didn't realize when I was doing this video is I can extend the resolution of this counter by pressing and holding the power on off for a longer period of time. And then I will get that extra digit out there. So uh, don't worry about that. It does go a little better resolution than what you see here in the video. 5625, that ending should be, I believe. And let's try another repeater here. Another transmit frequency, 449.975. If I was to extend that resolution out, it would probably show a little more accurate to frequency. And the red LED lights up on top if it detects a tone, which it did there. And let's try another repeater, different radio, uh, 147705 I'm transmitting on. There's a 100 hertz tone, and that's basically why I got this device is to, to detect what tone it is. I, I have several frequency counters. Let's try uh, an in-house intercom system that operates on the FRS frequencies here. And there it is, 4625625, that should be with the extra resolution, and it has a tone of 67 hertz. That way these intercoms don't pick up all kinds of other interference. That means I can program my handheld HT to operate with the intercom around the house, and that works fine. Thanks to me decoding that tone, I could put it in my HT. So power it off, just hold the button in, let go, and there it's off. Let's take a look inside the unit. There's four screws to remove on the back. So let's take those out. See what's inside. See what kind of quality unit this is. If it's some good stuff or cheap stuff. Well, there it has a 9 volt battery that you can replace. Just standard 9 volt battery. That's what they look like when they're shipped. But it's just a standard battery. And the board looks very good. All uh, surface mount devices, no discrete components there. Should last many years. Quality looks very well. Let's try a digital tone, DCS, of 023. We'll transmit from this handheld. Let's see if it decodes the digital tone. Go on 146.550 megahertz. There it is. It shows up 023. I don't know what the uh, N is in front of that. Uh, what that stands for, I'm not sure offhand. But uh, well, I hope you enjoyed a uh, little bit of information here. If this is a handy device, I thought I'd just show it off a little bit because uh, yeah, it's built very well, as you can see. I think it uh, should last a long time, like I say. So thanks for watching, and uh, tune in uh, next time. 73 WD0AKX.